Hello everyone, this is Line. You're watching Learn with Line. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create lightning using Adobe Photoshop. So to do this, we're going to create a new layer and we're just going to use the pencil tool. So usually you can hit the letter B to get to the brush. But if you click and drag out, the pencil tool exists over here. And for this, we're going to use one pixel. You can actually make it any size you want, but one pixel seems to work okay for what I need here. All right, and then you're just going to click and draw out your lightning bolt. And you don't need a special pen or anything like that. I'm using the uh, trackpad of my laptop to do this. So just do some jagged lines going out. And then we're going to create a, a new folder, and we're going to stick that graphic inside of it. And on the folder, we're going to double click it, and we're going to go to an option that says outer glow. If for some reason your outer glow is missing, uh, I noticed that it, it has been missing uh, by default. So you're going to go and click on this little effects drop down icon at the bottom, hit the little FX button, and then outer glow is over here. All right. So once it's there, then you can choose the color for your glow. And right now I already have one selected. And then you could choose the uh, size that you want this lightning glow to be. And then there's something here called spread. So if you want to give a little bit more emphasis, uh, you can. And that seems good to me. And so the reason why I did the, um, the effect on the folder as opposed to the drawn lightning is because, you know, lightning can change and maybe you want to do like an animated gif or something like that so what better way to do an animated gif than to have multiple frames for your animation so you can go ahead and just draw an extra lightning bolt and this way when you're switching between the two lightning bolts it looks so cool yeah, if only graphics came with sound effects like that. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. That's how you create your own lightning effect in Adobe Photoshop. Oh, hey, one more thing. Let's uh, add on some clouds. So what you could do is we can just fill. We just create a new layer. We're going to fill it with white. And let's go to a filter. I'm going to go to render. And then clouds. Bam. Now we've got some clouds. You can lower this a little bit, so this way it's not so powerful. But there you go. Now we've got some lightning and some clouds. Woohoo! All right. If you like the video, please hit the like button or the subscribe, uh, or both. And if you have any comments or questions or suggestions for the next video, please leave it in the comment section below. You're watching Learn with Line, and this is Line.